If you want to look nice and groomed like Seki Glenn, check out Manscaped by Hinged. <laughs> They're two different companies, but oh, that was that really oil. good. That was really good. Like, <laughs> I'd be happy enough with it. But as Glenn says, see, listen, it's what I've been saying for the past couple of weeks. We've all seen the videos from the didn't we? Yes, it was Big Dick Galore. Big Dick Galore. A big Dick Bonanza. So, if you have small dick, but loads of hair around it, if the heads are covering the house, yep. Get the manscape. But save, save your down. manscape. But what I realise is it looks bigger. There you go. It looks bigger. It now, looks I'll bigger. say it to you. I would never like to go down on a man and there'd be nothing there. No hair. It's just like a big bit of flesh. You need a wee bit of, wee bit of lantern strip. Now, you don't want loads, but just a bit. And if you want to shave it all off, you can. And we can help you because we can get you manscaped. 20% off, just put in mud blood and it gives you the 4.0 lawnmower to shave it down, put a landscape for him or a, what did you call it? A wee runway? A wee runway, yep. A landing strip. A landing strip. A landing strip. Yep. strip. Or you can have it completely shaved to look like a baby's bum. Do you you want to keep that weird bristly for her pussy. And if you if you want, there's ball deodorant, there is ball toner, there's everything. In the package, we t shirt, boxers, everything. So just go on, Manscaped, Mud Blood. 20% off. There you go. Glenn said it. Also, we'll have to give a big shout out to Hinch, our main sponsor. Absolutely brilliant. Whiskey, do you drink a wee bit of whiskey? I love a wee bit of whiskey. A wee bit of whiskey. We'll see the whiskey that Hinch have. This is a double wood. Oh. Nah. I would love a double wood. That's like, I just knew Tag you would team love it. Back again. <laughs> <laughs> Double wood hence whiskey and it's in a wee Madeira wine cast so the wine You'll have to send me a bottle out and I'll sample it. We're gonna we're gonna give you one. We'll give Woo! you one. and a bottle of and a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> but yes, massive shout out to Hinch Distillery, fantastic distillery in County Down, just outside, carried off there. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant sponsors and drink responsible. How are we going? My great grand used to go on the whiskey. Did he? And he used to do readings and all, and then he'd have slapped your face the next day if you had mentioned Did that. he do readings too? Uh, when he was drunk, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it run in the family then? Mm-hmm. My family was very spread out, right? And I mean spread, like my nannies, once there was nine of them. We went to see Angela Dunlap the other week and something came up and I didn't even know. My nanny's sister actually got shot during the Troubles. And one of her, one of her sister's daughters, Marie, married Bernard Valadin, was killed in a car crash. Like all of her, all of her sister's kids died, and so did her sister. Jesus, I know. I only found a cafe all night when I went to see Angela. But we so all went. Is that the fall days from Divis? Aye. So mm-hmm. they're related to you. Well, they married, yeah. They married. Mm-hmm. And did she die in a car crash with him? She died. I think she died in a car crash with him. Sorry, 18th birthday. So it was. Jesus, there was so many emmons. Aye, there was no emmons like. That's mad. But they had it real. Like, we were just talking about like families, no, but they had, had it really bad. Like, I know, all their kids were killed. All like, I. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's there's a lot of traveller families like that there too, where yeah. they have loads of kids and then they always lost a couple. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I, I don't know if it's the environment or how you live your life or stuff like that or just unluck. I don't know. I think it's just luck, isn't it? Like I suppose. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> Is that not club? No. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> Right, okay, so is this a start now? I don't know here, we're all good, but we can still use all of it. It's just got brighter. Just got a bit brighter. Like your shirt? Fanny Pink. Is that to make the called? boys wink, yeah. <laughs> Fanny Pink? Is that so the actual? Like it's like a PVC, so we can just wipe, wipe off the stain, you know what I mean? Where'd you get that? Boo man. Serious? Aye. Looks good. You know me, it's anything flamboyant. Yeah, it's very, um... Barber. It looks, it looks designer. It looks very... No, only cheap stuff for me. Is it real good. leather or is it flat leather? It's full leather. I wouldn't wear real well, leather, I don't leather? think. Unless it was straps. <laughs> <laughs> I, ha- I have got it. No, I won't, won't lie. Back in my whimsical days where I would have been a bit horny, like, I'll have a jack strap that's made out of leather, but it's not comfortable. It pulls the fucking pubes off you. Right. But pulls the if you get man's you so can shave them and then... I know, but it's flesh and the leather doesn't quite... Oh, uh, too tight? Oh, uh, it doesn't quite, like, sort of rubs. Right, okay. Mm. I don't have that issue myself. Do you not? I don't think I've... What, what is a jack strap? So I know. A jack strap is a bit that holds your balls and your dick and then your arsehole's revealed. 
Now, don't even, don't even start a party because studies have proven that 75% of the men love getting their asshole licked. Is that right? Aye. Well, we all know how I stand on it. And uh, listen, see the only reason on it, I just said is because mine's is fucking terrible. Mud I said it. It's like, it's like a dirty alley and I wouldn't expect anybody to fucking eat anything in there. Do you know what I mean? But in terms of everything, well, how are you? What's the crack? I'm a lot better. The doctor's up the up my medication, the ADHD medication, so I feel super focused. Right, okay. Which is great because sometimes having ADHD, like it's you try and focus on one thing and then I don't know, you just can't do it. Distracts you. All right. And in terms of like what you're doing, because the the last time I sort of was speaking to you, we're doing stand up. Yeah. Well, I kind of fucking I, I don't know. I messed it up a wee bit. I did. I got very nervous on the night of the BBC thing. I forgot everything that I wrote. I got myself really straight. I wish I had been properly medicated, to be honest. But I think I might give it another wee bash this year. And you know where you sort of went wrong yeah. on it, so yourself, yeah. do you know yeah. what I mean? But it's not easy, as I say to people. It people think, isn't. like, it's just, it's easy for us now that we're seasoned and we do it. You know what you're doing. Get. Yeah, but I mean, at the very, very start. Say I'm always a scared I'm going to offend somebody. See the thing about comedy, that that's what comedy is about. Yeah. So if people get offended, that's their problem yeah. with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, there's certain things that I wouldn't joke about or say about, but like I believe that comedy is open to everything. Like exactly, even Chantel. There's more teeth than a rooster, but I fucking love the wee girl I do. Who's Chantel? Chazzy. Oh, Chazzy Shankle. Oh, Aye. Do you know what? I... I just think she maybe has issues. I think she maybe she steered, definitely she needs steered in a in a problem. I offered direction. to take her in. Uh, I did. I said, Shazzy, if you need someone, because know what it is too. I'll say it. All these fellas that help her end up throwing it in there, and it's not right. She's my girl. Maybe just need somewhere. Mm. Well, that and but she's, somebody take me in and buck me. Well, <laughs> somebody take me in and buck me. <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody. But there's bound to be somebody out there now. I think the last time I talked to you, we were talking about you and your love life, and I think oh, we were saying like, yeah. there was something on the horizon, but oh, did that why, not yeah. happen, though? Well, put it this way, I ate the forbidden fruit, uh-huh. and I enjoyed it and all, like, but fuck my head up. That was part of why I went mad last year. It was all too much, but sure, I came crawling back this year, a month or more. Right, okay. Yeah, but do, do you think that, is that maybe what it is? Do you think maybe it's... With what you have, your your conditions and stuff like that, maybe it's just hard to have somebody... No, it was just a trans man using me as a dildo. Right, okay. So it was. And, and before I knew it, I was making tea, biscuits, sandwiches, waiting on a hot food, all the rest of it. Right. Not my scene. So, no relationship? Like, no. that's not what you're after? No. You're happy I haven't on even your met own. anybody in ages, no. You're happy on your own? Mm, I am. Yeah. I'm used to my own company, so I am. I really am. It would take you to be able to buy me a horse or something. For me to... A horse? A horse, yeah. Do you like horse riding? I love horse riding. Have you been before? I've been, yeah. Yeah, love horse riding. Well, mm, that's love that's maybe what you need to be putting on your profile. Are you on any of the dating apps or anything? Well, I am on Tinder. And this is the funny thing. Tinder talking to this fella. Initial J, blah, blah, blah. Was all like, let's meet up, blah, blah, blah. Right? I went out my friend Friday night for something to eat. I was sitting there having my dinner in the chest when he fucking walked in. I says, are you having your dinner? Yeah, I'm just for family. This is what I mean. So you think he was annoyed because he seen you in... No, he was more excited. He says, I wish you just had brought me home. But to me, like, this is what I mean. I can't... I wasn't going out looking for that. I didn't want that. I wanted to go out and see my friend, but... You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I get you. I can make things like that happen. I can. Like, and I forgot you... that. I got forgot that last year. That you can... How much I can... You know, like, how much I can actually, like... Like, say I want to meet somebody or I want to bump into somebody, how I, 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 the universe makes it happen. Yeah. And I, it's subtle and I don't even know what's going to happen. It happens all the time. Yeah. So, do you, uh, you think this one was meant to happen? Like, if you're ready to meet him and... Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. But I didn't, I haven't actually met him, met him. You know what I mean? I might not meet him, but it was yeah. just the whole point he walked in. Like, nowhere's a safe space anymore. Nowhere. They can find you everywhere. They can find me everywhere, Paddy. Do you, we were in the Empire last night and Willie Thompson was on with me. Um, you might know him, he, he used to do the podcast with me. We Billy Thompson. <laughs> but he uh, he was talking about the Kremlin. We were talking about old nightclubs, we were talking about the Beach Club, or we were talking about, I don't know if he went down there. Say think him and James McCain, he love it. Love what, the Kremlin? Uh, Aye, they, they go they, all they, they love it. So, but he was saying it's not as good as it used to be. I mean, well, it probably isn't, no, because... 
I found her eyes and used to be like this. Six o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's not like that now. Yeah. Remember yellow? I loved yellow and I loved the mint. Yeah. Bring back the mint. I used to do the door. No? Loved it. We used to do the door in Baggett's in West Belfast and then you get paid to go down there and clear that because it was on until about half five or six Aye. or something in the morning. Mm-hmm. We used to do that uh, there. Like, well, uh, the Bannons that used to own it own the Chester now. So go. they do. Always a friendly face. See, the Kremlin's 25 years old. 25. Mm-hmm. So that That's when it opened. Mm-hmm. I remember when I worked in the black taxis, they brought all the taxi men to it. They didn't know. Did they? They didn't know where they were going. Fuck. And here, they were having a great time. But <laughs> when, we, when we got back to work, like on the Monday, that was for the Christmas dinner. Big Elaine had us in and all, and uh, we were in, and I was like, they all had a good time. They didn't know where they were. And then on the Monday, they all came in with me and went, Fucking don't tell anybody where we were. Like, well, that's a party because I don't think there is one now, but there used to be pipeworks, which my mother doesn't even believe me actually exists. But Google it, folks. It's a sauna where men can go. It's part of the Kremlin, was part of the Kremlin complex. You go and you strip off and you go in and. Pipeworks are just the bag of it. Oh, uh, I don't think it's our now, like, it, because it, some straight man, some married straight man from the West, no, even didn't die, didn't it? Fucking died, didn't it? Well, imagine the white fighting now. Imagine the white fighting. It could blew up. Mm. Somebody tried to blow it up, and which is now the Maverick was called the front page of yes. the day. Yes, and all the windows got yeah got broken. It right. Yeah. So the guy I owned it, I used to do work for. Yeah. And on Father's Day, it was the night before Father's Day, and I went to my dad. I was like, I've got offered to patch up all these windows. So me and my dad went, got all the stuff. We had a job going somewhere else. Got all the sheets of play. This is on Father's Day, and I'm like, look, yeah. I'm sorry, but we're we're. You know, it's Father's Day, we're yeah. working together. Mm-hmm. But it was a Sunday and we went down and we boarded up all the windows for your man in mm-hmm. the front page. And then um, he paid us to give us a drink. And, and I was like, sorry, Dad, I made you work on all that there. But it was paperwork that blew up. And then we ended up working across the street, which was outside. Aye. So we've done the roof on that. Yeah. And <laughs> we, <laughs> we were taking the slates off the roof. And see, the slates are all different sizes, right? So you had to number them for them to go back on where yep. they were because they were all... So say we were doing one row, so it was 1A, B, C, D, right over, and then 2A, B, C, right yep. over. That's the way you've done it, right? So my dad was on the roof. He was taking them off dead careful, passing them to me on the scaffold, and then I was passing them down, which was the fire escape of outside, yes. which is the smoking area. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I've had them down, and a fella came out, the first day and there was a wee guy D was working with us and he was down on the ground so I would tell him what it was and he yeah. would scrape it onto the, the slate what yeah. the number was and the, the your, this guy came out and then another guy came out and the two of them were standing smoking in wee robes and they're just sort of looking up and the next slate I was handing him was 6C mm-hmm. so I said to him I didn't want to say it mm-hmm. and he went what is it and I went 6C and he was like, what is it? And I, I mean, I'm not saying it loud. And he looked at the last one and he turned the, the last one around. It was 5C. And he turned around and he went, 6C? And the two of them turned around. Oh, oh is that right? <laughs> <laughs> he fucking run up the scaffold. It's <laughs> more a fuck. The two of them were laughing. Like, but it was, I didn't want to say it because I knew it was going, what it was going to sound like. But he said it. And next minute the two of them went, oh, my. And he went, Oof. And he was, I'm not going down there. You can fucking stand down there. That was part of your reason why I went nuts last year. I did take MDMA and I did it, but it all got too much. But my friend was over from Turkey, God love him, now he is from here. But my God, he may as well just fucking stay in the sauna the whole time. Is that where he, he was? Over, he came over for gay pride, yeah. He, he was never out of that sauna. Glen go, Glen go, you're famous, I'd love you in there. I've never been in my life. I would, I'm not confident that way. If I had been younger and confident, yes. But no, my God, no. Mainly because it's just like, like loads of... I, could, I wouldn't want to stand naked in front of any strangers. Ever? That's, that's that's just not me. So you're oh, no. turn the light off, jump into the bed. No, I'm lights the on, mur on, mur on the ceiling, like be all inside me. But at the same time, not, not a, a complete not strangers. A public no thing. way. Right, okay. No. See for that sort of entertainment and interaction, you're gonna have to be paying me. How much would that? Be? Thousands, thousands. You want to DP Glenn Gordon on your OnlyFans, talking twenty grand at least. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you know your worth. That's the yeah. fucking best thing about it, isn't That's it? it? That's it. I, I was mustard fat. I was mustard for keeping my clothes on. Like, Were public. you? Aye, oh, mustard. Why? I don't know. I don't know what it Usually was. that's a woman thing. Women are like, going oh, to wanna... That's right, I think you need to have a mirrored ceiling. There's nothing better than actually seeing yourself fucking. 
It can be very good for your relationship. Yeah. It can. Say if you haven't got a mirror at home, look at yourself making love in the mirror, honest to God. It's like watching your own porn. It's erratic. Wow. You people would screw their face out right and do that. Why not? It's your body and your you're husband. Gonna, you're going to see me up on my tippy toes with fucking wee mirrors out of IKEA trying to stick on this. <laughs> so I'm probably bigger than that. So you can watch yourself. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know Glenn, because like I, I, I tell us on stage, like I don't think I'd want to see my cum face, like, cause it, it, like if you want to know what my cum face is, watch the New Zealand rugby team at the start of the match. Yeah, the hacker. Like that's yeah. Daphne the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see that. I do think that if somebody keeps their eyes open during orgasm, they're perfect. There's something wrong with them. Uh, I, know, I know. I do think that. It's what they're thinking in the mind when they're coming. That's what interests me. Is that what you think? Do you think people's mm-hmm. thinking other things? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll tell I you. I know what I'm about to spurt. I think about the new Range Rover. I think about something else. Something material that I want to manifest. <laughs> But you know the Nazis actually thought Vril, Vril energy was when you held it all in. See if you don't spill your sheet anywhere, the, the energy starts to build up attraction. You can manifest anything apparently. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you this, Greg. Oh, no. <laughs> there was a fella I know. I'm not going to say his name or anything. A guy who turns with us in the gym. But he uh, he couldn't get it up. And he's one of them wee men. Like He would be just touching his 50s, but he, he wouldn't talk about it or anything like that. Yeah. And somebody let it slip. Mm-hmm. So, a couple of fellas were saying to him, listen, go to the doctors, mm-hmm. you can get a tablet for it. And, and he's like, I I'd be embarked. Listen, it's all done online now mm-hmm. with the doctors, you can do a phone call yeah. and they can prescribe it. So he done the phone call anyway, doctor got him. So the voice says to him, what's the crack here? And he goes, I'm fucking loving it. He says, them tablets are fucking great. He says, I'm fucking banging the bellies at her. And uh, he went, very good. So you happy? Oh, I'm fucking delighted. She's delighted. We're all fucking good. He's just getting the time of her life. About two weeks later, he seen him. He was sitting my big bad face on him. He says, what's the matter with you? And he went, fuck you and your fucking tablets. He says, why? And he says, I fucking took a fagger and I had her up the stairs and I thought I was giving her the time of her life. He says, I was banging her like fuck. I was fucking loving life. He says, in the middle of it, she went, do you want checking her face for your dinner? Fuck. <laughs> and he says, I can't even get it up with the tablets now. Because she, he says, I thought I was doing a good job. She was thinking about it. <laughs> well, this is exactly it. Because what do you want? You're going to face for your dad. I can tell you know, That's why I, can't, I don't think I could do it with a female. Because see the second she opened her mouth and said anything? One word. That's it. One word can pop me off. But you have been with a woman before, haven't you? Not really, no. Not really? No. No? The most has been like trans. Right, okay. But it's just you're not attracted to them. I am, but it just doesn't work. Mm. I'm not attracted to them that way. Yeah, that's not, what I mean. That way, no. I think it, you have to be. I've, like, no, I've no real urge to muff Dave. Yeah. No, I mean, I've tried it like it wasn't bad, but it's, it's I've no urge to do it. No, no. But it's I, I, it's like people say, oh, he's only letting on to be gay, or he's only, or she's only. I know. Who would willingly? Who would willingly be attracted to men? To do. Who? <laughs> but it, it's think it's intentional. But, but that's the that's the thing that I have to say. Like you yeah. have to be. Like I, I couldn't. I don't think I could go or sleep with somebody if I wasn't attracted. I couldn't. Do, really do you know either. what I mean? No, I couldn't. Like, I couldn't do it as a job. That's what I mean. Like, it would be like a waste of time. Uh, just I w- be like, wouldn't enjoy it. Well, I probably couldn't get it up, but is the main thing. That's like. me too. Like, I have to be attracted and there has to be like energy too. Aye, that's, oh, like, that's what I mean. Like, it's. Fuck me a bit of role play, I think. Do you know what it's. You know what I mean? It's 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 a fucking it, it's not a task it's a, it's a fucking thing to enjoy you have to yep. enjoy it do you know what I mean it's one of them things it's it'd be like going to work and you're not like a work do you know what I mean you yep. don't want to be here so that's the way I feel about it mm-hmm. anyway Glenn I don't know about you well and in terms of the the psychic stuff what's happening at the minute with you? well I'm feeling all good but the psychic stuff again last year I was like I don't know because it can be very sad it puts me out of way too it makes me sad like but no I'm loving it again I'm feeling really focused again thank God. Was it because you have to tell people bad things? Sometimes, or? yeah. It's just sometimes I can't... I feel really bad for people, just. And I can't... And it gets you down? Ah, uh, it gets me down. gets me down. makes me grateful. gets me down. I would I would say, yeah. You see, I I hate... Do you know when you, you see I something... I'll give you a, a wee example. Uh-huh. It was an older lady, uh-huh. not that long ago, and her mother, her daughter made, made me give her a ring. So I'm assuming her daughter knows what's going on. Her older husband, like these people are in their 70s, he's not treating her right. Yeah. And things like that, just... What do you do? 
Oh, you're what thinking you about her now? Oh my God, yeah. It's not just a case of giving her a reading yep. and that's it, done, it's dusted. It's about her now. It's you yep. sitting going, Jesus Christ, because, mm -hmm. yeah, and it puts it into your mind. No it. fucking woman should be a slave by proxy because of a husband. Like, no. No. And, and then there's excuses made, oh, but he's just old school. Yeah. And that, that's not an excuse. Yeah. To treat somebody fucking bad. Why well, fucking did I say it? her love? I says, don't worry, you'll bury it. I says, don't worry, you'll live way beyond him loving, you'll be a lot happier. Uh, God help her, like, she's sorting out the finances and everything. But isn't that sad that, like, terrible? What, she, say, she says she's in her 70s, right? Mm -hmm. Say, even he died now. I mean, oh, she's life insurance, bro. But I mean, oh, smart girl, I told So her. she'll probably only get a couple of years out of it no, herself. She'll get 20, see if he goes early, like, she'll yeah. get 20. Oh, fuck, I. But see if he stays around, fuck it, maybe shorten. You just pity she didn't get it when she was like in her 40s, do you know what I mean? Well, I think she's only starting to realise and waking up now and go, what the fuck's this? Yeah, yeah. You know she's, what I mean? she's been living with it her whole yeah. life, that's fucking yeah. sad. It and is. kids and all too. Aye, grown up kids. You think they would have fucking stepped in, like, do you know what I mean? They're kind of afraid of them too. You know, in this day and age, I, to me, that's do. really, really alien. And, and to me, because to me, in every family, it doesn't matter what the men are, no matter how big and how hard they are. See, at the end of the day, when they get old, the women rule the roost. The women rule the roost, the men start doting, it's the way that it is. So to even hear that, it just, it scares me a wee bit, it oh, makes me go, mm. I know, I get you. Is it that's a man's sad. world? My deck's definitely a wee bit sinky. Why? Because I have to run the water in order to pee sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to pee this smoke, like, over the toilet and all the way. Like, I couldn't just pee up an entry. I would have to be really on my own or, like, think about rain. This doesn't work. On this, unless there's like for a anybody downpipe. For anybody that didn't hear it, there. So Glenn just said, I think my dick's sagging. It is because I can't pick. Like, see, this is why I hate going out because see, when I go into the bathroom and it's a man's bathroom and I can even hear voices, it won't come out. I could stand there for half an hour and it won't come out. It's like a mole in a hole. <laughs> it is. It is, but I have to think about water. You know what I've realised too? Stop even thinking about visual. Just keep saying rain, 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 rain over and over again. Comes out. There you go. Uh, here, I need to say to you something. So you and Dave on the podcast were talking about a Northern Irish version with the comedians. Yes. Of, of the strippers. Of yes, yes, boys, yes. Right? Yep. And I was dead on. So you mentioned Dave and you said Shane. And then you mentioned me and Dave went, Polly? I know. I don't know why I was so shocked. But you see, they're all campus Christmas, all them lads. You're not really, Paddy. You're more schmicky. So you think it was the schmickiness? It was it's nothing to do with anything else? No. He was just shocked, you said. He was shocked, yeah. But I, I know why you said it. Do you? Because you're, you're working class. It's not. It's because you're schmicky. <laughs> I like a schmicky, see? Is that what it is? Mm. Is that why you said it? So you had it's all about it? the attitude. So then we fell us down and are far too nice. Oh, and Butler keeps telling me to stop smoking and all like he cursed about me. <laughs> smoking what, but I haven't smoked him yet. <laughs> See, the, I'll show you wee videos, right? So since it happened, I've been doing uh, this on stage, right, as I come out. And can I tell you, right, I pick the biggest and bulkiest fellas with girls to, do, to bring up. And can I tell you, not one of them said no. So what's that tell you about them? You're meant to be doing a party. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. I was like sort of going, like it's not, where is this? Um, dear, 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 dear. We're not really all that well hung over in Northern Ireland, but it'd be like a chip a sas past sausage party. But it's the crack of it. <laughs> it is the crack of it. It doesn't matter what, you know, what says it is, you're just... They were definitely taking something, weren't they? They would have had to have been taking bag or something. I'm not even joking. I'm going to stay up like that. They had, had a pump thing. machine. Did they? There was this pump machine. They uh, pumped them. And they must have been because... They put, like, really tight elastic bands around the top. That'd be funny. If, if, you're not a, if you're not a male, you won't know. But too much of a good thing's bad. It's sore if it stays hard too long. Oh, aye. Uh, mm. No doubt. So, that's how I start the shoes now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Every one of them. Loves it. Loves it. See? You know what I mean? Every one of them. But see, we mentioned that when we're going to do something like that with women and all the OnlyFans girls, they'd be murder. They'd be blue fucking murder. Big ten. You know what I mean? Big ten. I said that. They would close the place down. They would have been murder. But... 
Everyone should be allowed to do what they want to do. I know. Like, we don't even have hooters over here. Nothing. No. It's very, very laid back. So when something like that went on, the girls went fucking way. I because, it, like... Do you know, it's like, fuck, there's nothing like that. One girl apparently got cum in her hair. I did see the video, uh, and then somebody came out and says it was lube, and I was like, I don't think so. It looked like cum, like it, it was <laughs> that old, old salty colour. <laughs> it's an old salty colour. Glenn, what scares you? What scares me at the moment? Uh-huh. In general? In general. In general, what scares me at the moment? Um, I'm, sometimes I think getting old scares me. Mm-hmm. All right, sometimes I think getting old scares me. Sometimes I think that all the stuff that I do scares me. I, I'm being honest, it really, really does scare me. It does, it really does. And I, I swear to God. Is in the readings? As in the magic behind it. Mm, yeah. I swear to God, I would already be a billionaire. But I know I'd be dead if I was. I'm not allowed to use I'm not allowed to use it for gain. I'm not allowed to use it for selfish gain. And I know that through and through, like. So it scares me sometimes and I go to myself, what is justifiable? Am I even allowed a horse? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. How do you justify you know what I mean? But I think if you have something like a talent and stuff like that, I know you're you're saying it scares you, so you feel that there's an element of it that's like you have this but you can't use it for yeah, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But every now and again, you will use it. Mm-hmm. I can make everyone else rich apart from me. Because I'm not allowed to act on it. That's mad though. It wouldn't work if I acted on it. It would be a, a, a bad consequences. So well, if you made a deal with it, that you weren't going to get till a certain level. I think of I already rich. did. Right. Mm-hmm. I did make that deal. That deal I made 10 years ago for a Ouija board. Right. And uh, my whole life did change. Like it did. It turned upside down and then it became better. But it was hard. And it took away all the bad too. It took away all the fake friends, all the badness, all the ego. It all died. Like, it all died. I used to be very sort of, like, driven and all. Really driven. Like, wanted, wanted goals, wanted to be a millionaire by the time I was 30. All these different things. But, like, see, now I don't even think that way. I would feel really, really, really guilty having a lot. Seeing women with kids and all, not having nothing. I just, I can't. I can't do it. Mm. I can't justify it. I love give people. I love just fucking, honestly. Are you just happy then... I'm, ha- I'm happy, like, I'm happy whenever I think all my needs are met, like, my needs right. are fucking certainly met. But, again, I think that um, I could be doing a lot more in the world. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That way. And it scars me sometimes thinking, like, it scars me, is this all I'm going to be? And is this so, is, it scars me sometimes, like, imagine doing a really brilliant reading and then the whole world's going to it. Like, that just happens very quick and I, it's very overburned. Like, some days I wake up and I don't even want to think about readings and it's like, we don't Glenn read me. Do you think that's... Like, people have no time for me, really. It's like, Glenn, read me. I swear, it's constant. So it's the negative people you're worried about? No, it's just what you do can take over who you are. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? No, I get you. And I, I can't lose my ego in something that is, is spirituality because it's God, it's God, really, and I'm not God. Right, okay. Well, I, I get a lot of hate now. Do you? Yeah. Why? I, I never did, but now I do. Why? I don't know. It, it's You get a lot of... Do you know what really annoys the fuck out of me, right? Is the negative... There's people look after my socials now, so I don't read anything. Really? Like, they, they post the videos, they do yeah. all... And they deal with it. Because it's got to the stage now where you have people coming on, like, just... I don't find you funny, but they follow you. Aye. Uh, and you're going... Yep. You know, somebody following you and commenting on every oh, video love you. you're doing. They fucking love you. Whether they want to admit it or not, they love you. But it's like walking into a fucking restaurant that you don't like the food in. Yeah. And standing going, I can't believe you're all here. Aye. Eating this food, it's yeah. stinking. And you're exactly. going, exactly. why do you need to do it? You just don't need to go there. See, that's another part too. I I thank God I don't really get trolled. I, I really actually don't see for even for what I do. I don't get trolled, but I think it's because I don't throw it in their face and I don't go on about dead people all the time and I don't go like, I don't try and hate but everybody. That, that's where I'm going here. Are you holding back? Oh, big time. Mm. Because of that? Yeah, yeah, because there's, uh, there's also a time and a place and I don't want to annoy God. This is what I'm, I'm saying, I'm scared. Like, I don't want to give people the relief and go, yeah, for them to go, right, well, we believe in you, but we don't believe in God. No, that's... Like, and if you don't appreciate you life, do, you're you not... You do believe in God. Oh, fuck, yeah. I'm terrified. Yeah. Because I know, know what it's like. Do you go to church or anything? No. Though I did play to be a Jesus in the nativity play. <laughs> when I was born, whenever I was a wee baby, I did. 
I love that you're worried about God. Then you go here and then play. But it's not that. See, if I did sin, I know it. But I would big repercussions right away about. It's how I speak to women too. I'm not allowed to have a bad relationship with women at all. I never argue with them now. I never fight with them at all. At yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, you don't win. You don't win? No. And mankind does not win arguing with women. It doesn't. He just he gives away his power. Yeah. I think the main thing with women is treat them with respect and, you know, give them their place. Yeah. But I think once you start appreciating women for who they are yeah. and what they are, your life's a lot easier. Ah, it is. You'd be, you'd be a lot more summary, like. I think, like, it, I couldn't be one of them guys that just constantly treat women like a cunt. No. And there's people I know that do that. Yeah. Like, people who were friends of mine. And but they eventually get their own karma. You see how unhappy me. they are. But do you know what? Some of them have got really old and haggard looking. Mm-hmm. The men. Mm-hmm. And that normally doesn't happen to men. But well, I if think... If you're being bad to a woman, she'll take everything you've got. But I think that's what happens to men. They, they, they become ugly and fat and bald. Yeah, they do. When the more they're nasty. The more nasty they're bad. Everybody the more they're bad to ugly, fat and bald has been bad I think bad that's what women. the bald is. It's the energy coming out of the head. It's the energy... Imagine they're sucking the soul out of you and it comes right up at you. Do you know like a humiliation? Like, mm. It is humiliation. Like it is humiliation. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it actually is. That's exactly what it is. It's humiliation. And I but think really, there's really a war going on. Like, really, there is. And it's between male and female. But we, we don't mention that. We don't speak about it. But when you look on the mirror, But I want the women to win. Like, I have to say it. I'm male. The women have to win. They do, because man can't count. It's Mother Earth, isn't it? Mm. That's that's the thing. Mm. It was it wasn't Father Earth. And there, Mother Earth. it's women. Yeah. So, we're more like them than what they are like us. And I think the word... And the speaking frequencies too, know all that language Who's for the conversation with women. Mm-hmm. Do you ever see when people saying stuff and they don't want to say it? And they're like... <laughs> they're like if your man's telling them about the wee woman down the street and she goes, did you hear about the wee woman down at number six? <laughs> and Paul's on the face. And you go, what? And she goes... <laughs> <laughs> the way they go like they won't say the word no they won't say the word no they won't say do you not notice that women say things very they won't say the word they'll almost whisper it yeah. but it's because they're afraid of other goddess hearing them see when what, see if a woman says something too loud all women hear it whether they're listening or not all women hear it and they all tiptoe around that because there's a big bitch on the inside of them that goes don't you open your mouth like so they're, they're, they're all they're really, they're they're really all whipped they're really boys. really whipped it comes, it comes from their blood <laughs> it, it really comes up. from their blood it does it, that period, in periods are bad like <laughs> And well, what people don't realise is the period like, is, is the life that's it's not life force. It's but a it's life hard on not, them. Yeah. So it is. It's like the goddess went, you'll bleed and you'll breed. You know, it's... There's, and, and the thing, women produce so many eggs in their mm-hmm. lifetime. Like, mm-hmm. like, think of all that. Not that a woman should be just having a fucking yeah. baby every time, but mm-hmm. it's like a lottery too, of ah, which is. egg is good. Because I'm yep. sure everyone produces good eggs and bad eggs. Do you know what I mean? I suppose, like... And the, the bad eggs are mad to come into the earth. The fact that we can do that, no, we don't even, like, even as men, we just stand there and look. We don't even, hello, what have you just did? Oh. Like that whole giving birth thing, hello? I know, it is tough. Do you know what a woman breastfeeds too after a second? Her whole vagina pulses, contracts, it hmm. pumps when she's breastfeeding and yeah. it helps heal her, yeah. It's mad, isn't it? It's fascinating, it? Like, it the is. Body is the body is a mad like thing, especially like anybody's body, but like a woman's, a I woman's know, body. I know grown men now that are still on the tip. Really? Oh, fuck. Mummy doing everything. Wife doing everything. Breakfast, lunch and fucking dinner. What? It angers me. See, I, I don't know how you would feel within yourself when you know. Like, I'm not saying that I'm fucking the ideal husband or father or fucking brother or but fucking... But listen, Patrick, you bring in a good crust. She's not worried about your dirty socks or anything just as long as you bring in that fucking dough. Yeah. But I, I, I think it's more... I've got better. Yeah, you've learned more. Do you know, and like my two younger kids now, I feel like even with Emmons, I'm better because I've learned. Yeah. And I know now from like, I dropped Emmons to school like near enough every yeah. day and I picked them up. Do you and crack I bring up them. at them? Oh, I but oh, yeah, you the bar. Of course I crack yeah. up at them, but <laughs> the, uh, the thing about it is you, you, you crack up at them and then you feel a wee bit shit, but they also hug you. Aye, but so, you do it because you love them too. Do you know, it's it's more, I, you shout at them so they don't do it again, do you know, that sort of way. But um, no, I, I, I love it. I love that I've had this second chance with these two younger ones. Do Aye, you know, the, Aye it's came along again for do, you. Let's see you talking about Dan and stuff like that, right? We're coming into Easter. What do you think about Easter? Today? Easter is an Easter bunny. 
It's a bunny. So it is Easter is all about eggs, all about the ho all about the birth of the eggs. It's all about springtime. Plant your sheet. What do you want to achieve this year? Imagine it's a seed. That's truly really what Easter is to me. Making making your nest. Fertility goddess, yeah. It's fertility goddess. What's your go to egg for Easter? Oh, I don't really see I'm not really a chocolate lover as such. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it, but I like savory, I like cheese and all more like I'm gonna do chocolate. Um I don't fucking know. So what's your go to snack then? Um my go-to snack, fuck, I don't know. What do I love at the minute? I love cheese strings. I love um, cheese. I love anything cheesy at the minute. See, cheese, I fucking love cheese. I had the cut back of my cheese. The cheese was I love cheese. I had, I had to put cheese in my fucking oh, cornflakes. See, cheese. Time. I'm telling you now, cheese is, oh, it's like chocolate. It, for me, it's like chocolate. I love cheese, but I had to really cut back. Like, I actually don't even have any cheese at the minute. Do like, nah, I've... They cleaned up my act completely. See, my cheese is all that bad for you, like, as long as you're not having it with bread constantly. Yeah. Cheese slice is no good mm. for you. Fucking love a bit of cheese. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Life's like cheese. It has to fucking go all moldy. See, I'm eating rice cakes at the moment. Are you? Oh. Why? I don't, uh, that's my savoury snack, like, at the moment. Are you on a diet too? Aye. Oh. Why is all these everybody going on well, a diet for? Who else is on a diet? I said to Dave yesterday, you're losing far too much weight. He's losing far too much fucking weight. I says, Dave, you don't want to lose your caliber. I says, there's nothing wrong with a bit of meat in the bone. He has lost so much weight, like. He's losing it too quick. So we, I like a bit of meat in the bone. I don't like skinny. I love the do say the skinny ones have the big dicks, like the do, the skinniest ones. <laughs> See, they're skinny, Is that because men. They have, no, they do. They're usually like an arm. They're Is that because like the weight's fucking, all lost? No, they're usually like an arm. Yeah. But. And a ginger skinny fella. Listen, Paddy, it doesn't matter what, because you've got a bit of meat to push it in me. Right, okay. You know what I mean? So that's why you don't go near skinny ones? Well, I'm not saying I don't go near them, but... Too much of good things bad for you? Because it definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plans for the rest of the year? Are you going on holiday? Or well, you... I have booked Tenerife for June, but whether or not I go, as an or fucking thing. Would you do that? Mm, oh, I'm so... Oh, you've no idea. Like, this is what I mean about ADHD. I can... Like, I sold my car now for Christmas. I was like, boom, I am done. I was actually going to go away to Guatemala and everything. I swear to God, it was like... Why Guatemala? Because I just wanted... I wanted a break. I wanted a culture shock. I wanted... I just was fed up where I was, really. But I sometimes can be very impulsive and I can decide something and then my mind can just fucking change. But why Guatemala? Like, what made that... What what came up there? Was it on TV? Was it in a book? Some, some fella made me. I was like, come out to Guatemala. Some fella? Mm. Just some person that was watching the podcast, actually. It's like, you'd love it out here, it's great, blah, blah, blah. If you need a break, come out. But I got freaked out, I got scared. Big shout out to all the Guatemalan listeners. Uh, Mudblood yeah. listeners? Yeah. What, what podcast was that? It might have been, it might have been Mudblood, it might have been Shane, I'm not sure. Guatemalan? Lovely, lovely, lovely guy, but I just... He was he Guatemalan? No, he was from here, but like, I have ADHD and I'm scared of going out somewhere like that. Well, that's I'm different, eh? flipping out. No, I get you. It's different, you. flipping out get in one thing, but flipping out on a different and Guatemala, uh, Yeah, and I don't really have an awful lot of luck when I go away sometimes. But is that to do with you being outside of your environment? I'm not allowed to escape the Matrix. I tried to during COVID, I did. I got as far as Turkey and I was nearly getting across that border to Russia. And the siren started going off Russia? and I hit Russia. I had a visa and everything. And then COVID, the restrictions stopped it. But I got as far as Turkey and was told, no, you're not getting across this border. But it was a blessing. Russia's not a great country to go to, Glenn. But that's how I mean, fucking... That's what I mean about me being impulsive. Like, they're not that nice. Well, I mean, I don't know. I believe I can go anywhere in the world, I swear. Anywhere in the world and I'll meet, I'll meet people who are decent. And, and here Probably. Doesn't you're right, I mean, I you're right. That. I, I can't say that. But part of me, like, I think during COVID, although I look back now and go, it was the best thing that ever happened because it was really focused. At that time, I was going, fuck me, I feel so stuck and so trapped. It was weird, like. What do you think of Turkey? Well, I was only in Istanbul airport. So not oh, much. I don't think much of it. Do you know in Turkey, the, the main can be with another man and it's not deemed to be really? gay in the winter, right? If there's no women about, it's like... The, and it dates back till... Do you ever see the film 300? No. Well, the film 300... It, Sparta. Sp Sparta, right? The Spartans. Ah, the Spartans. Right. I've heard about them. So, not only were they like a superior race, like were... If you had an imperfection, say you mm. were born with a funny hand... Ah, you were God? The fuck do you... No, the fuck do you off the mountain? Oh, why? Well, I've got webbed toes. Well, you'd have been fucked off a mountain, mm -hmm. right? But see, on top of that as well, the Spartans didn't see it as gay, but they all slept together. All the oh, men right. slept together because what this is was 
you, you can only you'll have more passion fighting in the army if you love the person that's next to you. Yeah. So they were they were homosexual, but this says it wasn't homosexual, yeah. it was just part of their culture. So that sort of is instilled in some of the culture, Greece and Turkey. Mm-hmm. And the men were explaining to us, like in the summer, they work in the bars and they sleep with the women. Yeah. But in the winter, the women don't come over. Mm-hmm. And it's a lot of gay men. And they go, but we're not gay. We're just, that's all mm-hmm. that's there. And you're well, going, as I said, I could like my fall day long. It's not going to make me straight. Do you know what I mean? But Do you understand what I mean? Like, and I mean, that's this whole thing. There's people out there who say, well, I've tried it. They've tried it. It does not make them gay. I mean, it really doesn't. If you're, if you're going to be gay, you'll be gay. I think. Yeah. No. Some I, that's the way I look at it. Like, you either know or you don't know. Yeah. Like, me and Andrew said that too. I mean, we I would love to be able to please women. I would. There was nothing I'd like more than to be able to do all that. But unfortunately, I can't. Just put your clothes in the laundry basket. You'll please them all day long. Well, no, I was more or less thinking, love, would you mind harvesting a couple of my seeds here? Dig out a couple of babies, but we'll just leave it. Would you like to be a daddy? I think so. That's the other thing that scares me is maybe one day getting to a point and going, my God, I really have been silly and stupid. Because I think back now, like I think if I hadn't been so selfishly gay, I could have had sex with a woman. I could have like a 20 year old child now, a 16 year old at least. Like, come on. I look back and I go, my God, that's one of the things like I've, I wish I had it just. You know Do I mean? you think we meant the pass on a gift or is that the way you think? I or? absolutely know that if I had a child, I would lose my power. You would lose it? Mm. And would it pass on to the child, you think? It would go direct into the child, yeah, and it would also go to so the So you think that came down it, imagine, to you? Imagine an electrical circuit, right? And everybody goes out of the circuit, but most men actually square right directly back into the source. Right. And they do that the second to plug into a woman. Right. The second they plug back into the earth again, the square root up. I've never square root up. Even though the girl next door is actually my granny's neighbour, is my best friend. Like, but if I go back 30 years, my dad would have tried to get into the garden next door. He would have square root it right away because he can't help himself. That's where I've been a bit more. Hmm. Stuck a square root right in there. Square rooted. Square rooted right into the earth. You square root it and that's why she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've sold your soul now. That's mm-hmm. him back in. You've sold your soul. Like, Just let her harvest it. Yeah, I've square it's rooted bad. a couple of things. Yeah. Well, it is. Mm-hmm. But you see yourself and your kids, this is the thing. I know. And I know that would be a good thing or a bad thing. No, well, that's... Sometimes you... My son's got my bad knees. Has he? Yeah, and it's one of them ones where he's... We like, all do. Yeah, we, we've real bad knees. So it's... it's And he's really good at sports. And, like, and now he's like, oh, I don't know what the crack is here. And I'm like, listen, it's not your fault. You haven't done right, anything wrong. Right. It's just hereditary. It's just, oh, it's just the way it's it is. It's passed down. Try, tell him magnesium. Fuck it. Magnesium. Try it on everything. I do take magnesium every right. morning. Magnesium hot bones. Like, I make it sore, sore bones too, but I think it's lack of vitamin D. So I bought a collagen bed and it's like, it, it's helping a bit. A what? Collagen bed. It's the same as a sun bed, only it's not UV blue. It's red light, it's red light therapy. So it doesn't make you tan? It makes you tan, like that, there's a tan off it. I'm completely tan from it, but not, right. it will not burn you. No matter what, how long you do, you won't burn. But you'll go tan and it makes you younger. It takes away your dark circles. I have no makeup on. And like, I'm just letting my skin heal a bit. Like I do, I love the be perfect now, but I'm just letting my skin be a bit. Brenton sat down, um... Two big things for me yesterday. Two big Brent's boxes. Pregnant. You need to get Brent on. Uh, Brent no, I've asked him a couple of times. Already. He's just that you busy. Need, you need to get on to Elaine. I uh, speak to Elaine all the time, yeah. Uh, if you say to Elaine, because I think he's got, I'm going to have to get you on to do my podcast too. I'm doing a new one up in the Chester, but it's more like a collective. I want to, for you, I want to know, like, how did you get into, say, the building, the comedy and all, what made you, what life. was it like to, yes, just life. Interesting stories, just. Yeah. You know what I mean? They hear people saying what One of the things you? I was getting at, Glenn, when I was talking about... Um, what am I afraid of? What am I, you're afraid of? See, like, societal things? See, like, things like AI? Would that scare you? I, I absolutely love AI. Yeah. All right, and I'll tell you it's a big, big secret. I'll say it here and I will just say it. I have actually cloned Shazzy Shankle to an absolute T. I absolutely cloned her to a T, cloned her voice, everything. It's my voice, but it uses AI as her voice. And it's fucking fantastic, but it's scary. And it makes you also look at everything else in the world and then you go, what's real and what isn't? You know, and I think AI AI is a great tool, but if you're an inferior human being, you're going to be terrified of it. But if it's used correctly, I mean, you know what I mean? I think... I'm very excited about it because I think we come from... We are computers. And these beings that we're calling their phones, they're really actually beings. We only think they're devices. They're actually alive. They've got eyes and everything looking at us and they're what? Hiya! 
multiverse. <laughs> They're fucking watching our every movie. You see me spunking this morning. Woo! 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 Not I'd, me. I'd, I'd, that shit freaks me out. And I sometimes think too, they're harvesting the energy. Like I, somebody said to me before. A hard dick only means one thing. Seats. Is that what it is? No seats. Do you think you'd be punished for stabbing your seats? Because no way I've got the snip. Mm, no. Or do you think the universe is went, he's given off seeds out? No. Well, it's actually a tough one. I actually don't know about that. I really, really, really don't know about that. But the fact that you did do it, it shows that you um, respect the woman and you respect the woman's body and you respect that the woman's had enough through her body and you're willing to go through that sacrifice, which I think any man out there don't make your woman go through that. Do you never make your woman go fucking do that? Just go and get it snipped. <laughs> Imagine that, like a woman going and get not what? Get their what for him to fucking hump, hump the hairdresser and away you go. Chemical castration. Yeah. That's what a marriage is, a chemical castration. I worry about AI. Like yesterday, I pulled into a car park of a shop. Like I could AI you. I could AI you and it would be the takers. I could speak like you and it would be almost exact. Uh-huh. That's funny as fuck like. But to do chassis, it was funny. It was, it actually did chassis and Nolan the right. arguing about the dogs and all. About her going, uh, <laughs> yeah, Max, the XL bullies. There's a link between the drug dealers and the XL bullies because they're always selling gear. No, just a crack. And it was so fucking like real. It was like, my God, it's great. I didn't think it was going to be as good as what it was. But uh, yeah, I think we're only starting to see the pinnacle of what AI can be. Like I was saying, the shops, you're going to like go into the house, the two years will put on yeah. the fucking the thing and you'll go into a virtual shop. Well, I can't wait to be cloned. And I be, really wish... There I could, won't be shops anymore. I wish they could clone me right now. I wish I could... And I could be on everyone's phone to give them a bit. I really wish, honest to goodness. Like, it's not a bad you thing You could do an app for that, but... I know. I would love to be cloned. Glenn's and face app. Mm -hmm. And it's just me, like, Lauren, you can just talk to it. I would love it. I, Glenn. I, Glenn. I, I, Glenn. <laughs> I don't know why people are afraid of AI. Why? I think it's going to get this stage where... We're going to plug into AI and mm -hmm. live our life oh, land in bed. There'll be skin suits soon. Not even have you seen them Vision Pro goggles? Uh, I want them. Like, I want them. They, they look fucking incredible. They are incredible. Much of they? They're like four grand, like, but they are, they're class. And you walk them wearing about and you have everything on. You can, on. like, type in a bring and it brings are and you can change the whole set and all to mad. Life is going to be nuts. It I'd is. say in the next ten years they're going to advance really that far that it's going to be... Main bro. Yeah, well I, well, I think so too. I think that healthcare too is going to change. I think that, I'll be honest with you, I do not believe, I'll say it, I believe that computers and machines can do a better job rather than someone who is on a salary and making an ego who doesn't even really want to be a doctor. Yeah, well, uh, listen, this is a thing. This is what I mean. And then there Human error. Human yeah. error is a terrible thing. It's great. Uh, Human grade too. Yeah. Human grade. And, and, and it can... You, you make a need, wrong judgment. I think judgment. we need AI as well to have a centralised government and I think we could all be interactive with that. AI needs to be in control. AI is going to know what's best for us. They're and definitely... what, else, what really, really, really gets me, and this is how I know it's all connected, is AI, I just can't prove this shit, I'm going to try and prove it because it is all Mars. AI can be fucking psychic two ways because it knows mathematics. Yeah, well, the watch things It's mathematically out. precise and so is psychic's very mathematic too. I so think... it's going to get borderline. I'm interested to see just how far it will be able to go one day. I think they'll have an AI government and the first country to do it will be America. Oh. I do, like, I think there, there, there'll be an AI. People AI will type in what they want and what? Or Guatemala. Or Guatemala. <laughs> AI will make better decisions. Well, Guatemala South America, like, isn't it? Honest, that's, not Central that's, not really Central Joe, that's not really Joe Biden, is it? Well, Come on, that's Jim Carrey fucking playing him. Like, it's all like a big stage now. Eh? You think so? Like, what is going... There's nothing happening in this world of accident. Nothing. And I did say to you... Did you say that King's going to die too? He's going to die. No. Who? I actually said he was going to lose... King Charles? Oh, I was going to lose his marbles first. But I, I don't know what's going on, but something's going on. There is something going on, there is. In the royal family? All over the world, something's going on. They're all bowing out. They're all disappearing. Oh, Stephanie. Something greater in control. There's something greater in control. There is, and I know this. But has there different. always been something greater in control? Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. oh yeah. But it had to make the bad come out in order. To, it's the only way to wake us up. But this is where I'm saying, like, they have to create bad for to even up the good. Yeah, there has to be that element. I think there I think has the to be old, bad. The old uh, element of control. The old element of serving. Old religion and stuff. Uh, uh, in done. general, in general, it's done. Yeah, people are shaking higher ideals now. Yeah, and I think the world's changing. I think that scares some people. Yeah, some people want to be ruled. Some people want to oh, have guidance. Some people need it. Yeah, yeah. 
if you get off your leash, and I think if you go back in time, like you see some of the torture devices and stuff they had years oh, and years fuck. ago, and like the world was a dodgy place back it's then. It's fucked up. But what people don't realise is there's some dodgy shit going on in the world right now. And we have we are actually quite privileged. Like where we live, mm. that it's not like that. I mean, I'm really privileged. But the internet has opened up for people to see what actually goes on. Like if you see wars and and you can go into a real dark place on the internet if you want to. Yeah. And look at stuff. Oh, there is. And there and, is. and it scares me. Like my wee lad has started to watch stuff, and I'm like, you fucking need to. Fundamentalism scares me. People have these new big bright ideas. Scares me. These corporations scare me. But they should be more scared of me. To be really honest. Because while they're all earning their money, it's only a receipt for magic. It's only a receipt for energy, emotion, something that you do not have a lot of. Yeah. So really, I mean, it all boils in the same kettle. Do you think if you're manifesting stuff, do you manifest material things or are you better manifesting? <laughs> you're better off manifesting experiences. Yes. What, so what, that what, your what life... Will feel good, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then... Mm-hmm. Like, I get... I get a high from... A new challenge with like I'm going to Australia next week. Yes, I've never been there before. Oh, you love it! And I just, I just know that the the energy around it's fucking Aye. brilliant. Yeah, there's no negative energy. Yeah, and I mean that like, in terms of it's it's came to a stage where I'm nearly gone, but family energy Aye. and everything, there's nothing really in the yeah. way of it. Yeah, so that's how you know it's meant to be a good completely experience. So mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it that way. So I'm not scared about it, but. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Money can buy you experiences, yes. But money also puts a bullet in your puts a price in your head. Do you imagine I had so much money? Like I'm being honest, my fucking family and everything would want me gone. So could, like it's true. It is actually true. See, once people think there's something to the bloody game, I could be a billionaire the more you'd never know, because I would never ever tell you. I would like never. In fact, it'd be the complete opposite. You will never know. Because I my safety. It's just people. Worry about it. I used to worry about like if you won. I, in my head, I was going, like, if you won 20 million on the lottery, it would screw the fuck out of me. Mm-hmm. Because I feel safe where I live. Yeah. See, in I Belfast. I feel safe with, where I live too, and I would not want to change that. So you're I going wouldn't. to yourself, if I won all that money, I couldn't live where I no. live now. You know, it would turn because... turn everything upside down. Yeah. Everyone in your life would turn on you. Everyone in your life would have a motive. Everyone in your life would become an opportunist. Because people look at you, like, I used to have friends that just, like, me... For my crack and yeah. and the good time, mm-hmm. they're not around no more because yeah. I'm not available for that anymore. Aye, exactly. So exactly. there's nothing to get from me. Exactly. Whereas I there's have to gain. new people. I would say friends, but they're not. I have new people in my life who are close to me in a friend sort of way, only because there's stuff for them and to gain yeah. from me. See, I think money is really all evil. I'm not saying that everybody that has money is evil. I'm really not at all. In fact, I respect. I have friends that are millionaires, like people who have fucking assets, tens of millions, but it doesn't actually make them any... Happier? No. In fact, it actually makes them more vulnerable. It's sad, more vulnerable, and everything they've worked for and all. It's just people don't appreciate. Oh, I wouldn't want to be that person. I either. think you need to be skint at some stage of your life. And when I say Fuck, skint... I've been homeless. I've like, been homeless. Well, I've been skint. I've but been, that's what I mean. Yeah. They'll learn you the best lessons, like. To, you know what to, I mean? To get to the stage where you yeah. go, that, well, it's not all about that. Don't yeah. get me wrong. It's good to have... I think if you have enough that you can do... Like, if you can go on a holiday... Yeah. Have a roof over your head, have heat in, and have food... Yeah. It's all you need. It is all you need. It definitely is, like. But we are living in this world now where people think... And this is another thing I've seen as well. Everybody that people are looking at in the media, I don't care whether you're reading online worth 150 million, all this shit, it's all lies. It is lies. If they're still in the media now, they're still trying to pay their bills. They're still trying to pay their bills. And they're not, they're not living within their net worth. They're not at all. Everybody who even has that net worth is struggling to maintain it. Yeah. Maintain it. And honestly... Because there is people that it. disappear and you don't hear of them again mm-hmm. where they feel they've got enough and they're just, well, yeah. I'm away to live my life yeah. quietly here. Yeah. See, I ain't got to do my head in too. What would I do? Well, I don't know if I could live... Quietly. A no, quiet I life now. And, and just because I've put myself out there. See, if I won your own means, I really, really believe I would do a government coup. I would. I'd become a politician. I would. I would. And what would your policies be? I would want an independent nation of peace. Not a Northern Ireland. Not an Ireland. Not a, not a UK. An independent nation of peace. Something that's both. Something that's brand new and something that's tax-free. A tax-free principality in order to let us rebuild. And I think, why has nobody even thought of it? 
Because there's too much money to be of made course there is. else. Of course there is. But wait till, wait till the economy collapses and all, all debt needs to be wiped. Well, everything's like on computers and on chips. Mm-hmm. I think there'll be something that will happen that will close down. Like something can happen A in space. Attack? It I doesn't so. have to be a cyber attack. It could be... The universe could throw a fucking, like, an energy fucking source yep. into the, the world. Yeah. And it could blow up all the microchips, all the cars, mm-hmm. all the computers. Mm-hmm. And then completely clear. Because yeah. who keeps paper trail anymore? Nobody. Nobody. Everybody's like, far too dependent. The way, that what scares me about things is, all your phone. Do you know where you get a new phone and you go, oh, fuck, I want to put my stuff in the net. There yeah. is no cloud. Like, yeah. It's a fucking building somewhere. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. There, it, the, people have a thing. No, it's in a cloud. Aye. Th- there's no cloud up there no, that has no. all the photos in. There's a building somewhere. Yeah. Exactly. So if there's a building somewhere and there's so- people that work in that place, yeah. then it can be destroyed. Oh, all of it can be removed in an instant. And that's all what scares it. me. Mm-hmm. So, like, I think that that has happened before in the world. Yeah. And I think there's been several. Like, I will say this right now. I do believe in the next year. The tic tac's going to be completely banned and it's going to happen overnight too and they're not going to know what's hit them. And in many ways, I can't wait in many ways because you know what? We're seeing so much trash right now. We're seeing so many people just, oh my God, and the eagles through the fucking roof. No, you're, no, 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 no. Be known for what you do. Uh-huh. Be known, not just for being on a platform because if you're not able to sustain any other platform, your life's going to go tits up soon. You and mean this is like where, there's just people that's going on And this is where broadcasters and all too, like BBC, I ain't telling you, they're going to go on fire too. They are, I've said it for years, and they're going to go on fire and I can't wait. Because they're now, they're now like looking the influencers. No, do your own producing. Do your own pro- producing. Stop looking at the public and going, what do we do now? Like, you've already lost it. You've lost it, you've lost it, you've lost it. And pretty soon the influencers are going to lose it too. They are. And it's uh, almost like as well, people are not buy something just because you're, you're using it. You have to like be wearing the outfit and not talking about it for them to go, I like that about like it's all the psychology of it is changing. It is. People are not just going to buy something because you say you want it. Like, yeah, it works. Like it works for a wee while. Yeah. I think it, it's just it's false. People have sold their souls. You see now. That's where I already know what it's like. People are pounding me. I already know what notoriety is. I know what it is, and I run away. It scares me. Being famous scares me. But see all these people out there that think they're famous. They're going to have a reality check. If right, okay. TikTok. And I think it might. You know, I really think it might. What are we on there? And I don't know what else gives me, you know what else gives me anxiety? Trump being fucking president again. It gives well, me the heavy after the last time. It's definitely happening, isn't it? Aye, and the world's going to come out again. The yeah, world's not the tic-tac will get banned, the world, world, world will come out again. It will, I know it will. Because you, you're going to pull the carpet from under a pe- lot again, of people. Again, yeah. You know... So many, many ways, I don't think it's going to be good for anybody. Here, Either of them. Glenn, it was a good thing you didn't go to Guatemala. What? At the Civil War? At the minute that there's like an an orange like warning to not travel. Yep. There um fucking just... orange men everywhere. <laughs> See before I booked that, I literally heard that week that you got the gov- the people were trying to overthrow the government. Here's me. Maybe that was your coup. It was. This is what I'm trying to say to you. Maybe yeah. you were going like, in that I meant, country was and meant then... to go to Russia and got the visa, went to Scotland and everything. COVID was there, didn't get to go. What happened two years later? World War fucking three. Um like this is what I mean. Yeah. Universe uh, laughing at me going, you're not getting away from this. I get to you as a Guatemalan dictator. Oh, right. <laughs> or would you be a dick teaser? Dick teaser. There's um, <laughs> <laughs> three, di- three different uh, areas. So San Marcos, Hue Hue Tenago. Um, wait, wait. San Marcos, the hippie town. And then Zone 18 in Guatemala City. Zone city. 18. In Guatemala City. Zone 18. So it's like a district of it's it. It's called, 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 called Hummingbird Valley. So... It's beautiful. I will visit one day. I will. It looks lovely. Looks like great crack. But they say not the travel it's a day in places. Country, like, too. Mm. Uh, ancient Mayans and all. Mm-hmm. That would be Mishima, good. Mishima Mayans are. It's like a, he wears a hat and all and he has a cigar. You go and you leave him a cigarette and he can take away a curse. But apparently he helped women and then they killed him. So that he's worshipped as a god. I was going to go to see him, to be honest. So it was. Oh, well. We're going to go over to the Patreon now, aren't we? Yeah. So anybody that isn't signed up, get over to the fucking Patreon now. You're missing the fun. Get over to it. Subscribe. Subscribe. Mobile podcast. You... you get the questions. You get the ask questions. It's all good content that way. So you can get a lot more up close and personal and be part of the show. Uh, if you think so, yes, it's good crack. And here, Patreon's Patreon, even better. What What do we charge? Frig all. 
Yeah, well, we do it here. It's at least a pound. It's Listen, a- people love to feel part of it all. See if you want to feel, feel part of it, sign up to Patreon. But we don't set a limit. Like, we if have only a, got a quid. We Is it a quid? Yeah, if you've only got a quid, you can pay a quid. If you it, want to it, pay more, you If can. you want to pay more, there is some people that give more because oh, they love the content. Yeah. But we, that it's set at a pound because solely that's the cheapest you can mm-hmm. have it. So if you want, go over, you can subscribe, pay a pound. For all the content, you get four Patreon episodes, which is up close. You get the Ask Questions. We also upload some videos and some content from live shows and whatever. And you also get access to tickets to our shows early and stuff, priority access and stuff like that. So, now, See, before you go, folks, we have a new song out. I'm going to play it at the end of the show okay. so you can hear it. But go over on Spotify and uh, give it a wee stream. Give yes. it a shout out. Search party. What's the song called? Parties. 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 And it's not Swanamala. at Celtic Park. <laughs> um, Fusion's got anything to plug there? Psychicglen.com. Check out my link tree. Follow me at Psychic Glen. Psychic Glen. Always a good man to be in contact with. Always the good to have a conversation with Glen. I have to say. Um, yes, I have just announced uh, my O2 Glasgow show, The Academy. Tickets are on sale now for the Dagger show. The Dagger's going to be the big show up and coming. We've announced the Olympia Theatre in Dublin. So that's two cities, two biggest shows for me to date that I've announced. Uh, we've announced the Millennium Four and I've done two last year. So you know it sells out. We were in our man Saturday night and people travel from Derry because they couldn't get a ticket in Derry. So get your tickets early from Millennium Forum, um, which is in December. But the tickets are on sale now. And also, I have the SSE in October, which is the only time you're going to see Dagger in Belfast this year. So the tickets are on sale now from Ticketmaster, from PaddyMcDonaldComedy.com. Try and get, get a VIP ticket. You, you're more than welcome. Mm-hmm. I'll go to the big show. You're more than welcome. So, um, more than welcome. Get Thank your tickets you. now. Thank you. Thank you.